Need some fast, cheap, reliable muck coins? Go to MMOXP.com and use discount code MONEYSHOT for 5% off your order. Link in the description below. <laughs> Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Man Money Shot, sniffing out the Madden cheese as always. Got some more plays out of the Saints playbook today. A couple days back, I put out a video out of the iForm Close. And in the comment section, somebody requested uh, some empty backfield uh, Saints plays. They didn't give me the specific uh, formation. Um, there's four different empty backfield formations in this particular playbook. And I could really do a video out of any one of them. I kind of am leaning towards doing more. So if you guys want to see more videos out of empty backfield, you know, formations like this let me know in the comment section or hit the like button also pick which formation i could have did one out of any of these but today i decided to do the empty saint first and the reason for that is uh in a gameplay that i put out maybe a week or two ago i found a new really good home run out of the deep end so i'm going to start with that play uh, but ultimately i'll try to put a link in the description for both of those the, the, the close that i just did the iphone close as well as the gameplay um, that I was playing where I found this uh, home run play, this deep in home run play. And I'm going to show a couple. I mean, I have a couple home run plays out of this playbook already. So starting off with the deep end, uh, you know, the only thing I really want to do is probably make sure that I have my fastest guy. I don't have a ton of speed on this particular uh, on this particular roster, but I want to make sure I have my fastest guy in the uh, in the deep uh, in the deep uh, corner or deep post route. So let's go ahead and let's do that. So the way that I used to run this play. And this is this used to be a pretty glitchy play. I used to motion this guy across here, and he could easily get open underneath the covers. Now they kind—I of, think they kind of patched that. I don't really think that works too much anymore. You can see right there, still has some success. Not the most successful play. I'd probably have to move the ball to the sideline a little bit. But this is how I always ran this play uh, back in the day. I used to run this out of the Chiefs quite a bit. Um, but it's not, you know, it's not the most spectacular play anymore. But like I said, if I have sideline space, this can be a little bit better. You'll see right here. I mean, really what it is, is it just gets under the cover three. You can see here, here he breaks on a little bit better. Like I said, kind of patch that. Doesn't really work as much as it used to. So all I'm really going to do in this play, and like I said, I, I, I don't know if you have to do this. I'll try to figure that out here in a minute while I'm recording this video. But I'm going to motion in again. He lo doesn't look like he comes in much. It doesn't look like a huge adjustment. He only comes in a couple of yards. Um, but I think it makes a difference. I, I never thought to do it any, any other way. Uh, but like I said, I'll give it a try in this practice mode and let you know if it matters. It shouldn't give away the play. Either way, I'm motioning him in, but it shouldn't give away the play because some of the other plays I'm going to show you in this video also motion him in. Uh, then I'm just going to put the Y route on a streak. Now that's probably just that's just to pull back the cover three safety. If you don't do that, the cover three uh, middle third will follow the the will follow again across. And then I'm just going to put the B route on a comeback, and that's it. I also find blocking the tight ends good, and then sliding the protection to that tight end. Because if you don't slide the protection to that tight end, he's going to be one on one with a superstar defensive end. I want that double team. So here you can see we get that double team. Wait for this guy to cross, and you can see we don't get a great throw because I had to switch over to Taysom Hill. But you can see how there's a gap. So we'll go ahead and we'll do that again. I, I sacrificed a little bit of accuracy going over to Taysom Hill. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I don't want to deal with uh, Drew Brees' lack of athleticism and arm strength. So here we go. We're going to roll out this time. Like I said, just get a little separation. And you can see, I mean, he's beating Sherman, superstar cornerback. He's beating him by a mile. Like I said, I'll put a link in the description for the gameplay so you can watch it if you prefer. So, like I said, let's go ahead and let's run this one more time. Always going to slide my protection. Slide my protection to Cook so that defensive end doesn't get a, a, a juicy... Uh, pass rush opportunity you can see right here I mean, we're just getting past like i said i mean that's you know for Taysom hill that's about as good as it's gonna get so big home run play against cover three now this play also has success against cover four um it, it's just a little bit different of a setup now the best cover four play that the niners playbook has is the cover four drop contain out of the three to six dollar they don't have a uh, the three four cover four, which I know most people run, but it's the same you know it's the same idea. So like I said, when you motion this guy in, that's specific. That I, the reason that I, I figured it out without labbing this is that's typical of cover three. This that's the, these this type of route will cross cover three if it's motioning closer to the line. In cover four, you typically want him out wider. Now, if I can motion him out wider, I mean, a little bit, I don't think that that's necessary, but that's typically how you would see it in a cover four. So against a cover four, though, I can just leave him right where he is. It's fine. Uh, and then I just want to make sure that I have as much blocking as possible. So the A route, the Y route, I can have them in a drag or something if I want, or like a flat or something like that, but I'd much rather have the blocking because I'm trying to hit a home run. So then I want to put the RB route on a drag, and then I want to put the B route on a smoke. The reason I'm doing that is because I want to pull down that safety and that cornerback on the right side. So that's pretty much all I'm going to do. And then this is going to be a home run against cover four. Now I just have to make sure I get the blocking. As you can see right here, he just kind of crosses. I don't know if I quite had the speed, but you can 
C gets behind, we'll have to do that again. I like to slide my protection to the right as well. If I don't take away these check and releases, um, they just don't block as well if I put them, if I, as I put them in the straight up, um, you know, a blocking pattern. So let's go ahead and do this one more time. See if we can get this coverage that we look, that we like. And you can see right there, like I said, we're getting over the top. So once again, you know, it's, a, it's, it, you can get wider than that. I, I be, I'm going to run it one more time here just because I'm, I'm not quite happy with the separation, but I also don't have the speed that I prefer uh, when it comes to uh, my corner or my receiver. Like I said, this team doesn't have a lot of great speed. Don't have like a Ty, uh, uh, Ty Hill or nothing like that. So here you go one more time. Like I said, floating it up. Like I said, we're not, we're not quite getting the separation because we don't quite have the speed, but we're the, we're the quarterback at the moment. But you can see how this is an easy cover four or cover three one play touchdown. So let's go and let's move on to the next play. This next play is probably a little bit better against the man coverage. It can work against cover three and cover two as well. I'll probably break those all down. Uh, but we'll start off with the man coverage. So actually, you know what? I'm just going to go nickel normal and I'll read the coverages. So if you have an opponent running a lot of man, I mean, this here looks like more like a cover three. Just motion this guy out. A lot of times, like I said, he'll he'll either catch him in the flat or you just wait till it turns the field. So I actually didn't read that correctly. I'm not sure what coverage that was. It might have been a cover two. Um, I probably have to watch the replay. But you can see how, like I said, it works. That, that route, I'm really going to ex ex exclusively be using this route. Um, I guess it was a cover three, yeah. So it was a cover three. I just waited till he basically got outside. Like I said, when you motion that guy out like that, it's kind of glitchy. He'll he'll find space in between cover twos, obviously, in the same way he did here against a cover three. And if it's a man coverage and all a man blitz, a lot of times he'll turn up the field for a big play. Like I said these wheel routes are they're, they're pretty glitchy. You can see here how you know it just it, it's gonna find space one way or the other through, throughout the play. Now the X route here is a really good second option. You can see how. Um, he can help open over the middle. Your opponent's going to pay attention. If you run this wheel route play too much, your opponent's going to be paying a lot of attention to it anyway. So they, they're not going to be covered in the middle of the field like they traditionally are. So here looks like that cover two look. Like I said, right there we get hit. We get an inaccurate throw, but you can see there was space there the same way. I might have to pick a man coverage here if I don't get that pretty soon. But I think you get the idea. I mean, you can see how this will beat man. So here we go. We got that man. Like I said, you can see how he turns up. I don't know what happened there. Bad throw once again. Um, <laughs> but you can see how he was definitely getting space. This spot's to replay real quick. Like I said, I don't. Ty, or Taysom Hill is not a great quarterback. But uh, you can see, I mean, once he gets past this point, he's gone. You know what I mean? And this looks like it's a cover one. So there's no help over the top. I, that's that's going to have, if they, even if there's a cover two safety, you're going to have space. So actually, I think I'll back out and I'll pick a cover two man real quick just to show you how to create that space. So we'll pick that play one more time. We're going to actually run against cover two man because that's something I think gives people more problems than cover one man. So like I said, if I want to create space, say it's a cover two. Cover one's obvious. Cover one man, it's going to be a big play. Cover zero, obviously, it's going to be a big play. But if I want to create space against a cover two safety, I just have to streak in. That's all I really have to do. And that will pull back the uh, the cover two safety. You can see right here, he's just going to have space on the side. It's not going to be a home run like it will be against cover one or cover zero where you're going to get a touch down so like i said obviously if this was a cover one or cover zero you would have a definite home run but you know like i said that's i don't i, don't, I think people understand that i don't think i need to show that so here we go one more time like i said just get in space you know cover two cover one cover zero obviously gonna be a big play so let's go let's move on to the last play so last play i'm going to show in the video today is going to be the drive unders um this here i'm just going to go ahead i'm going to choose random nickel the reason I'm showing this play with these home runs is because if I'm running the deep end a, a, a lot, because this is kind of the uh, the standard of this of this formation, and I make this motion, and they start cluing in on that. That's the perfect time to switch over and start using this other play. Uh, they won't be expecting it. You can just start dinking and dunking them a little bit, just to keep them honest. And if they start using this side, then you can just also streak cook here. A lot of times, um, they'll just they'll use that route to the point where they'll just forget about the center of the field. You can see right there, that looked like a cover three. I'm not sure if it was cover three, cover two, but that's pretty much the route all the way. These C routes, to me, they, especially this one, takes a little bit of time to develop. Um, so, you know, if you have a, a blitz, a lot of times it might, uh, it just takes a while. I mean, it, it works because you can, you can cut off the coverage a lot of times with a user uh, catch. But if somebody's sending some crazy heat, it just takes a while for this route to get open. So you can always block the tight end once again. It's not a huge portion of this play. Um, but ultimately, you know, like I said, you can say, I mean, I'm going against one of the best defensive lines in the game. So that's why I'm getting a little bit, a little bit extra heat. Uh, but you can see, you know, it, it takes a little while. It's not a fast, like some plays I put out, it's not the fastest open route in the world. Like I said, if the wide route's there too, I'll take that. That's the other read. You get some really good catch and runs. If you just, if you just, you just read in top to bottom. If the Y route's there, take it right away for a catch and run. If he's not, you have to wait for the, uh, the X route over the top. 
So that's it. That's the video. We're going to end it there. Like I said, if you guys want to see any of the other open, uh, empty, you know, empty bunch Saints, empty, empty uh, gun formations from the Saints playbook, let me know in the comment section because I have plays for pretty much all of them. So let me know which specific one you want to see next, and I'll try to do that uh, later next week. And uh, that's it. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. Money shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my bids and more. Link in the description below.